All right, collective, here we go. We're going to open the week with the most powerful tarot reading there is. It's an all signs reading. If you don't know what I mean by that, I got a mailbag, my latest one. It's titled Signs, Signs, Everywhere Signs. Go check it out. I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why I'm here. Because I do my pre-shuffle. And my pre-shuffle before I hit the record button tells me why I'm here. I pull the overall energy here. I got the Ace of Swords. Somebody very recently or right now, whenever right now is for you, learn some kind of truth about themselves. <laughs> maybe something you wrote, maybe something you said, maybe they just woke up in the middle of the night and went, oh shit. Either way, I'm shuffling the deck right now, right now for anyone. This is the current soulmate energies in this current soulmate cycle. It's a general reading. But if the title brought you in here, you're supposed to be here. It's for anyone. Don't, don't matter what sign you are. Don't matter if you don't have a sign. Don't matter if you're a raccoon. This reading's for you if you found it. It's a timeless reading, so whenever you find it is when you were meant to find it. Like I said, right now is right now. Four of cups before the cut. Ace of swords in the pre-shuffle. Somebody learning. Something about themselves is what I get off the energy. Because the energy bounces back on me. Somebody figuring something out. That four of cups in the pre-shuffle. <laughs> Keep in mind, I shuffled the deck before the cut. That four of cups in the pre-shuffle, in, in the pre-cut. Okay? Ace of swords in the pre-shuffle. Someone figuring out something about themselves. Four of cups in the pre-cut before I cut the deck. After I shuffled, Four of Cups is somebody who re is realizing they missed an opportunity here by rejecting you, casting you off. After the cut is the Ace of Swords again. That's verifying, that's the universe verifying my read on that Four of Cups. Everything I just said to you just got verified. I said the universe... I said when I was reading the energy of the Ace of Swords in the pre-shuffle, it's bouncing back on me. That tells me that the person learned something about themselves and what shit they are or were or missed opportunity here with that Four of Cups. The fact that this came after the cut is proof of that energy bouncing back on me. It bounced back. See, you see, I'm very transparent with the readings. I try to teach you guys something too. I know a lot of you read... I want you to pay attention to the little things. The little things matter in a tarot reading. Now I'm giving the deck a final shuffle here. We're going to see where we go. All right. I got my final shuffle. <laughs> Overall energy of this reading is the two pentacles. Keeping in mind everything I just said to you about them learning something about themselves and what shit they were for rejecting you. This right here, well, it depends what's under it. I feel the energy, but I'm not going to read it yet because I always look at the card that's just under it to clarify the overall energy, and it's the Knight of Cups. So I probably should have read it. I'd have looked real cool, wouldn't I, if I read it, and then I went, yeah, I'm right, right, I don't know, whatever. I'm not cool anyway. Um, this Two of Pentacles, the overall energy is somebody finally getting out of this loop and making a decision. It's not indecision. Sometimes it's round and round indecision. It's decision. What they that epiphany they realized is that Ace of Cups or this uh, not or this Knight of Cups need to get its ass on the horse and come towards you because they fucked up when they rejected you in the past. They screwed up. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how they feel. Right here's how they feel about you. This is the hidden energy. What the universe wants you to know, and it tells it through me, and I'll convey the message as best I can. Right here's the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything. I'm going to throw some universe cards over the top. You bet your sweet asses that I'm going to extend this one. Because this is some powerful shit. To have that Ace of Swords twice like that, after a shuffle and then a cut, and it come back. Yeah, I'm reading this shit right today. I felt this on my morning walk, too. Something about this shit. I couldn't quite make it out. The cards are helping me. Yeah. The link for the extended will be in the description. Let's go. Let's see where, what that extended is going to be called and what it's going to be about. 
Because my extendeds are a different reading. I'm not doing some shit where I don't pull the last card and then, you want the last card, you got to go get the... No, it's a whole different reading, people. That's where we do some voodoo. Let's pull this first card together, the energy around the connection. Here we go. The magician. Yeah, somebody's manifesting this. Your person's manifesting the shit out of this. They've been doing some thinking. I bet they were up all night. Whatever all night is. Again, you're all on different timelines. This might happen a week from now. This might have happened a week ago. Might be happening right now for a lot of you because this is strong energy. It's here. It's present. That's why I felt that bounce back on that Ace of Swords. This person's... Yeah. Oh, shit. I need to... I've been indecisive here. I need to get on my damn horse and bring that cup. They're manifesting this. How do they feel in their emotions? Seven of Wands. Wow. This card's been coming up a lot. We saw this uh, toward the tail end of last week a lot in the readings I did. Some of the quickies, some of the all signs. It, it keeps moving the position it comes up in, though. That's what's interesting. It keeps moving around. Almost in order, strangely. Right here, this Seven of Wands. This is someone who is not sure what to do. They, they're, it's the same message I've been getting off this card. They're standing the high ground. It's like holding people back with, holding it back with a stick. They think they have the high ground here. They think they're quiet. We know from a quickie reading I did the other night where a lot of you watched it probably resonated with you that they're spying on you we know that this card showed up there right underneath the seven of pentacles with some fool watching plants grow staring at them uh, they, they're standing the high ground right now in their emotions they, they feel like they can make this happen it's a little bit of confidence with this card, the seven of wands person has an advantage they are manifesting this. How do they feel about you? We'll find out more when we clarify. Right there, what I tell you. Woke up in the mid nine of swords. Woke up in the middle of the damn night. Woke up in the middle of the damn night and that ace of swords, Archangel Michael showed up and rammed that ace of swords right up their ass, right up through their head. Again, you're all on different timelines. I'm not saying this happened last night. It might have for a bunch of you. But for a lot of you, it, it happened last week. Could have happened, it could happen next week. Could happen later this week. We got a cancer new moon this week. Everybody's going to be emotional. No matter what your sign is. It's a powerful moon. Usually around this time of year, my wife cries for no reason. She's crazy. It's crazy for her this time of year. I uh, get something else off this Nine of Swords. This is how they feel about you. Um, yeah, they're standing the high ground. Yeah, they're manifesting you. But this this Nine of Swords also, it, it, they they there's a uh, I want to say oh shit to be funny, but it's 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 more they feel bad. You know, it's like they think they can fix this. They want to fix this. There's a I feel bad to it, and I think because this whole reading's clarifying. I think. It's not in the energy, but uh, so I'm honest with you there. But I think logic tells me that because this whole reading is clarifying this two of pentacles and it's about their indecision that they've had in the past, I think that's what they feel bad about. I think it's, it's almost like you keeping someone waiting and then you show up at the restaurant, like you keep them waiting there, but you're running late, and you show up and the first thing you say is, I'm sorry, I'm late. It's, it's that kind of thing is right there. Hidden energy read with this manifesting. This is this is manifesting. I don't even know if they realize they're manifesting. I don't know. I don't think they sat down and said, I'm gonna manifest. I think they just I call it pocket manifesting, right? Butt manifesting. They're where they butt dial. They're they're butt dialing you is what they're doing. Uh hidden energy hidden energy from the universe. Yeah. What you don't know, what you don't see. And what they're manifesting is communication with you. What you don't know is this person sat up all night worried about not bringing you this uh, cup of love and their indecision and whatever, you know, whatever, uh, with their phone in their hand. That kind of thing. With the damn phone in their hand. I got a newsflash for your person. And it's a message from the universe, too. Although I'm 
making it cooler and more slang. You got to hit the send button on that motherfucker. All right? That's what the universe wants you to know. Your person has done everything but hit the damn send button at this point. That's very strong around that card. And a lot of you don't even expect that. Again, we're still bound by this person's questionable free will. And they're still using their questionable free will against them by not hitting the send button. I'm not here to give anybody false hope, but for a lot of you, the vast majority, over 90% of you, the shit's going down. This cup of love is coming your way. But again, for a few of you, your person's just too batshit crazy. Because uh, this is batshit crazy. Just, t just talk. Just reach out, you fool. It's like that spy reading I did, that quickie I did the other day. Are they spying? Yeah, they're spying. And it's picked the first card out with some fool staring at a plant. I mean, they're, they're, it's crazy. Hit the sand button. Final outcome, red with this seven of wands. This high ground. Yeah. They're, for, they're, this makes sense. Again, if you read cards and your reading makes sense, it makes sense. It's real. Sometimes you get erroneous readings. You scrap the whole thing and you try again. Maybe you, maybe you asked a question wrong. Nobody asked any question wrong here. Four, four pentacles. It's a card of fear. Yeah, they got the high ground. They're standing back, their defensive position. Because they don't, you know, because of all this, I mean, there's just, there's a combination of fear and not hitting the send button and anger at themselves for being late to the restaurant to meet you and, and their indecision, you know, that kind of thing. They know they need to do this. That Ace of Swords was rammed up their ass. The Ace of Swords came twice. My pre shuffle and post cut came back. That energy's bouncing back. It's like a boomerang. It's about them. It's not that they realize the truth about you. They realize the truth about themselves. This is fear. This is the card of the miser. It's the four of pentacles. Someone, hold, someone who's afraid to lose you. Afra uh, misers are afraid to lose their money, so they pack it all in a mattress or bury it in mason jars in a backyard. And they guard it with a shotgun. They're fearful. Fear, fear. So they got the high ground here. They're holding back. This is a card of holding back. Red with a card of holding back. But they're hold this tells us they're holding back out of fear. So for, for a lot of you, this person's going to come in, and we'll see it when, when, when I clarify, I'm sure. For a lot of you, this person's going to come in. But for a few of you, I'm not going to lie to you. But you got to not focus on that. You can't, sit, you can't sit there. I can't give you false hope and say 100%. You, you, your person's going to come in. That would be foolish of me. That would be irresponsible. And I'm anything but that. Uh, as my sister always says, I'm the Brandon Walsh in my world. I didn't know what that meant until I found out he's some character from 90210, Mr. Goody Goody. He always does the right thing. Yeah, that's me. So I'm Brandon freaking Walsh from the South instead of South Beverly Hills. But so I'm not going to give you false hope. More than 90% of you, your person's probably going to get past this fear. It's minor arcana. And, they all, and the universe says you can expect some communication. But for some of you, this person is just, you know, paralyzed. They, they suffer from some kind of anxiety for a few of you. But I don't want you sitting around wondering whether you're in that few or not, was what I was trying to say. Because if you do that, you're going to manifest yourself right into that few. So go ahead and have hope if you want. Because we can only we can give ourselves hope or false hope. Other people don't give us hope. We allow hope to happen. So give yourself hope, but don't give yourself false hope. Just make it a wish in the back of your mind. Well, I hope they reach out if you want to hear from them. And leave it alone. Don't sit around and go, oh, but Steve said there were a few where they won't. Maybe they won't. And, you know, and you, that's, all, that's all you're going to get. You're just going to add to their fear. Fear is devil energy. Devil energy is a classification of energy. Devil energy feeds. It's negative energy. It feeds itself. So if, if you put out something like, oh, I might be in Steve's group where they don't reach out, then you're just feeding this fear. and This, this minor arcana will grow into some shit. It'll grow into a devil. A major arcana. So be cool, people. You're my people. Be cool. My people are cool. We're the shit. Come on. 
We're so cool we don't eat at Burger King. All right, right here. Magician, why is it here? Let's clarify. Why is it here? Well, let's find out. Oh, look who came back. Bottom of the deck, four cups. That's why they're manifesting. I always look at the bottom of the deck to, to tell me some more about the clarifiers. I don't usually show it to you. But I will now because we saw this before. Pre-cut, four of cups. Yeah. They blew you off, didn't they? Fuck you, collective. I got something going on over here. They had other options. They had something else. They had some hang-ups. They was a prick. I don't know. Yeah. Regretting that now, ain't you? Yeah. Death. Yeah, everything I just said right there. Death clarifying the, the magician. The magician, they're manifesting you. Death, rebirth. They blew you off in the past. Now they want to reboot and they're trying to desperately manifesting it. Whether they realize they're manifesting or not, the energy of manifesting is just out there like a radio station. 106 point asshole FM. Let me tell you. Eight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups is there because they blew you off in the past. They're afraid. Also, this energy here ties. These cards are bookends. This set is bookend in this set. It depends what the second card is here, but I can go ahead and predict that this Eight of Cups has something to do with the fact that they're not sure you're going to take this cup because I'm reading these cards with this. And look, if, if, if that's the case, if I'm reading this card, these cards with this, look at the colors. It's all grays. There's not a color on the screen right now with these three cards. They're worried that you're already gone. Like that old Eagles song, Already Gone. It's a good song. Actually, the lyrics kind of fit here, that Eagles song, Already Gone. If you're not into the Eagles, you can Google the, the, the lyrics to Already Gone. It's about someone who put someone on a shelf and then thought they could come back. And then he says in the chorus, I got some news for you, and you'll soon find out it's true. And then you'll have to eat your lunch all by yourself, because I'm already gone. And that's what they're afraid of. It's a great song. I'm going to listen to that later today. Uh, Seven of Wands. I haven't, I haven't listened to the Eagles in years. That's good music right there. Seven of Wands. Here we go. Why is it here? Mr. or Mrs. Defensive Stance, High Ground. Yeah, that's the message that keeps coming up on that high ground. I'll give you your high ground. Come up there and knock your ass down that hill. You got my people all upset, and worried, and emailing in to me about how sad they are and shit. Fuck you. I'll tell you what, I'll say it for you. I'm on, I'm on your side. I'm your reader. I'm not their reader. But I am neutral in the reading these jokes. Don't, you know, the cards are what they are. Don't, you know, don't write in and say, oh, but now you're influencing the reading. No, I'm not. Look, I don't influence shit. I don't have that kind of power, people. I'm not God. But I tell you what, that's an angel. <laughs> that's temperance. Yeah. They got the high ground because they're trying to put themselves together. They're trying to ban they that's part of what Archangel Michael's Archangel Michael's on this card on some decks and that sword, that ace of swords we saw twice, is Archangel Michael's sword. Archangel Michael's about truth. Okay? He's like the fix it man. He's like, nope, that ain't right. I'm gonna ram this sword right up your ass. It's right here. They're hanging back. This is a card of patience. Great blue heron, very patient fisher. Bird. Huh. Why's Temperance here? Why's that angel here? <laughs> the lovers. Yeah. This is what Archangel Michael taught them. This is why they're hanging back. I mean, yeah, they're afraid you're already gone. But and but they're manifesting a rebirth. But they're they're on the high ground, defensive position, in fear, trying to pull it together, because what Archangel Michael showed them with that sword of truth up their ass, probably in the middle of the night when they woke up in a cold sweat, is how powerful this connection is. Probably had a dream. I'm getting that. They probably had a dream. I imagine you two have a, have a telepathic link 
an empathic link or some kind of psychic link of some sort where you're meeting up there on the astral plane even if they're in a different time zone than you if it's very interesting if you I'll tell you something because uh, people ask me about that because how can we be dreaming about each other if they live in England and I live in California you know eight hours apart me having family over there I know the time difference fairly well so I'll use it in my example yeah, when, when I'm asleep, they're, you know, having their morning breakfast, morning tea. But the <clears throat> thing is, if you're awake, if your person was that far away, let's say they're asleep while you're going about your day, if you're thinking about them a lot, that don't matter. That, that's all happening in the 5D. Uh, if, that thought, if the thoughts of them pop in their head, you can actually influence their dreams if you have a telepathic connection with them. And I believe there is a connection with the card of the angel and the lovers together here. Uh, this person's keeping a defensive stance because they're freaking out. This is freaky shit, these two cards together. This is freaky shit. This is like, I just had a dream that we were together and I swore you were here and then I woke up and, and I thought you were here for like an hour. I was looking for you. You know, it's that kind of freaky shit. And it's like it turns out it was just a dream. These two cards together are freaky shit. They're always freaky shit when they're together. Um, and sitting on top of that seven of swords or, or seven of wands with that four of pentacles there of fear holding back. Yeah. Uh, nine of swords. Let's see. That's how they feel about you. <laughs> Causing them sleepless nights. Mm-hmm. I bet you are. Because you might already be gone and they're trying to manifest a rebirth because they never hit the damn send button. Couldn't make a decision before. Now all of a sudden Archangel Michael shows up with his sword, cuts them deep. And they realize they need to get on that damn horse and Knight of Cups needs to come rolling in. Because Four of Cups, well, Four of Cups that we've seen twice as well, tells me that they rejected yours. Nine of Swords. Why is it here? Give it to me. <laughs> Come on, people. You got to love tarot as much as I do. If you're not laughing right now, you're missing this. You got to rewind and watch this whole reading again. This is the third time I was just talking about this card. Just talking about it while I was shuffling. And there it is. Four of Cups. Yeah, you're keeping them up all night because they, they missed. They fucked up. This is, I fucked up upright. I rejected, they rejected someone really awesome. Uh, again, I'm reminded of a, a line from a Jackson Brown song that describes this person. And someone wrote in and, and reminded me what song it was from the last time I mentioned it. It's, uh, it's called The Dancer. Uh, it's a song called The Dancer. Uh, but uh, but th that was the line I was talking about before. In, in this case here, it's The Late Show is actually the song. And it's, uh, if you stumbled onto someone real, you'd never know. And that's what happened here. They stumbled onto you, someone real, and they just didn't know. And now they know. Here's my point. Shit. I love tarot. It's great. Why is that four of cups here? If this is the, if this is the fucking ace of swords, I'm shutting this video off, and we're all going to get lottery tickets. I don't think it is. It doesn't feel like an ace of swords. Okay. Because that'd be freaky. Uh, Queen of Cups, yeah. Uh, they reject it. It, it, this. These two cards together right here are the lyrics I just gave you. If you stumbled onto someone real, you'd never know. I said you're someone real. They stumbled on, they rejected, they're up all night because they rejected a love offer from the real deal. The Queen of Cups, from me. And the universe knows this is the biggest cup card of love in the deck that I, as a reader, can pull. This is the most loved one. This is the real deal. Gives the full cup. It's a goose. You can feed a family with this. That's how much love there is. Sorry to all you vegans out there. I, I don't mean to offend anyone. It just kind of popped in my head. And, and I'm hungry. So. Regardless... If they stumbled onto someone real, they'd never know. And they did. And now they know. Thanks to that Ace of Swords that came up twice. Okay. You gotta hit the send button, asshole, upright. Let's see why it's here. Eight of Wands. 
Hidden energies. This is hidden. You know, it really pisses me off, actually, when I see the Eight of Wands here in hidden energy. You know? It's a card of communication. Forward movement. Passionate communication. It's in the hidden energies. It's communication. It's not supposed to be hidden. And because of that, this Eight of Cups is here. You're like, I don't know. I don't even know if they're still there or not. I'm just going to go away. Yeah, well, no shit. I would, too. And now they're scrambling and manifesting. It's really clear in the energy. They're scrambling here. They're scrambling. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Why is this Eight of Wands here? <laughs> we can't ever get not get. I love it. I, I love it. I love it when it comes out because I get a really good extended reading. Emmy Award winning shit. The devil. The goat with its feet on fire. And the devil is parallel with death. Oh, fuck. They're manifesting communication with you. They know they need to hit that send button. But there's something within this person. And I'm going to pull the next card before I talk about this devil because I need to know if the devil wins or the devil loses because the next card out is read in parallel with the Eight of Cups moon yeah the devil they are gonna for most of you they are gonna come in the universe is saying the moon here is silent bob as we often call it but it's also in this case here secrets secrets and fear okay it's this person is so secretive it's i, I don't understand it's, it's like usually you don't see anything like this i'll tell you a story i i live i I lived next door for a little while to a celebrity. I won't mention his name. He was on a show called Bones. I won't mention his name, but... And we had this backyard, and, and the backyard was all grown in. And nobody had... A, the previous neighbor had never used the backyard, right? So me, I got birds. I want to use the backyard. I train the birds, and, and we do, you know... we. We, we do all that, and we, we wanted to barbecue and, and all that. So I go back there, and I clean the whole backyard, and we start using the backyard. Well, we started out, because nobody ever used it before, it was just a five-foot fence dividing the properties. Well, this fool, Mr. I'm a Celebrity, uh, this fool goes and has a ten-foot fence installed just because we started using the backyard. Like, like I'm going to be peeking over his little, the little five-foot fence to see, oh, what you doing? Yeah, like, I give a shit about you, you fuckwad. Honestly, it's that kind of secrecy. It's that kind of assholey devil energy. It's that, you know, passive-aggressive kind of thing of, like, you serious? You serious? Asshole. Still remember that asshole. He's an asshole. That's why I'm not going to say his name. Probably sue me. All right. Because he's an asshole. Right here. Devil. Secrecy. Secrets. The reason they didn't, they've never reached out or why they're afraid to reach out and why they're now manifesting to reach out. They're manifesting to reach out, but at the same time, they still don't want to say much. They want to be careful about what they say. They're worried about what they're going to say. And if you find out about something, you might go out and tweet it or, or, or Instagram it or, or something like that. They're putting up the 10-foot fence because you're using the backyard. It's that analogy is perfect here. And it's, it's this own, your, your person's own fears within them. Some kind of past hurts, some kind of past experiences. I hate people who use past experiences who weaponize them against new people who come in their life. You don't weaponize past experiences. You use them as a guideline, not a template. And that's what's happening here. Their, their propensity to keep their mouth shut and be silent Bob is costing them something real. But they figured it out. The good news is the universe this is just a hidden energy. The universe is telling us who we're dealing with here a little bit. Now let's move back to the reading. This is almost a separate reading all by itself. Right here. But they really want to reach out. They really want to communicate. And the overlaying card here, as I, I told you, I look at the bottom of the deck. I'll just show it to you. It's the Three of Swords. They're, causing, they're the cause of all their own problems. Your person is the cause of their own problems, probably in all areas of their life. 
all areas of their life. They're the cause of their own problems. This is a person who would hold up a line at a supermarket to try to redeem a coupon and they hold it up for an hour only to find out the coupon was expired and it can't be redeemed no matter how many managers you call over. It's that kind of thing. It, 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 it cause of all their own problems. It's, like, ah. it's, it's, it's a weird energy. It's very frustrating, that energy. Reminds me of that 10-foot fence. I remember that prick. Go down and tear that and put up a fence. Yeah, like I give a shit about you. Give a crap about what you're doing. I'm not TMZ. I don't freaking care. Four, four pentacles. I don't even watch TMZ. All right. Four pentacles. Huh? Let's see where we go. Uh, yeah, uh, this is causing. Uh, yeah, this is red with temperance, ten, uh, ten of wands. This is causing them a lot of burdens. You are hev heavy on this person's mind. They they are both. They're sitting. You see how this card is kind of dividing this card, like it's cutting it right in half where I threw it. They're both fearful of coming towards you and fearful of losing you at the same time. And this person is literally ripping themselves apart. This card is read in parallel with the angel, with temperance. They're trying to keep it together. Okay? They're trying to keep it together. Now, the next card, the last card out is read with the lovers. This is sort of the epiphany. This is sort of where they feel the connection. This is the freaky shit in the dreams and all that. What's the next card? Yeah. They're going to come in. Um, it's the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, they're going to come in with a very precise message, though. The Knight of Swords has a precise message. The Knight of Swords comes in. It's like, I often say it's like Paul Revere. He came in, he said, the Redcoats are coming. The Redcoats are coming. He didn't come in and say, the Redcoats are coming and we got a sale on donuts over at Pete's. And there's a, you know, he didn't rattle off a bunch of shit. He had a precise message. Your person, again, with all this secrecy of this devil, Mr. or Mrs. 10 foot fence, just cause you're using the backyard, has a precise message message that they want to tell you and the energy is very clear on that it's very pinpointed energy and that's why I point that out so for most of you 90 percent maybe a little more plus or minus uh, your person is going to come rushing in they're going to come out of nowhere they're going to finally hit that send button but I wouldn't expect chatty Kathy I mean not you know what I'm saying I, I would expect the red coats are coming one message uh, one specific message. But at the end of the day, and for a few of you again, that they'll still, they can go around this. The, the burdens will be too much and they'll paralyze in fear. Because again, for all of you, if your person stumbled onto someone real, they'd never know. And they know now. And, but it still scares the living shit out of them. But they have made a decision. They know, at the very least, they need to bring you the cup of love. They need to get on the horse and bring in the cup of love. That is clear from the Two of Pentacles. Right. So I knew we were going to have some sort of communication ending here. I just didn't know specifically what. Let's see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell you here. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable, these energies. This purse. My God. They have realized some truths. They really have. You've changed this person. I can safely say that. This connection, you, things you've said, or just the connection in general, and these freaky dreams. It's all changed them. You showed them the light in some way. You're their angel. And they're also, this card also means they're trying to pull it together. They are worried you're gone, and they wouldn't blame you if you were. Or at least I sure as fuck hope not. Okay, we always pull from the bottom first. What's the universe wants you to know? It wants you to know three of swords. This person has caused nothing but pain for you and themselves. And again, the energy around this card, because this was the overlaying card here, is the same. This person is the cause of all their own problems. Okay? The next card out is the six of wands, though. That's good. They do want the transformation. They are manifesting this. They think they can get a victory here. And often the person depicted in the Seven of Wands does think they can get a victory. And I did mention that back when we were on the card. They do think they can pull this out. I don't know. That's up to you. You all have free will. You can decide if you want to pull this out with this person or not. Um, because... 
the last card out is the nine of pentacles. Now this is a twofold message. Either this person is whatever was blocking this person, they've realized some epiphanies and whatever, and they're just coming in. Um, it, I do see this person has been trying to get their shit together. This card proves to me that you've showed them something. They've learned about their independence a little bit. They've learned uh, about that. They do still have a fear of commitment on some level. But again, I think it's tied to this devil energy and this moon over here. Uh, but it also tells me that you're, again, and that's why temperance is here, you intimidate them a little bit. They know that you're better than them in, a, in every way, emotionally, probably physically, probably all sorts of ways. You're probably smarter than them too, I would imagine, because you're coming here watching tarot readings trying to find out what the hell's going on with this dipshit. And yeah, I'll call them that. Because they are. And it, it may not be their fault. Okay, fine. I'll back off. I'll back off. Don't throw nothing at your screen. I'll back off. It could be childhood trauma that caused them to be this way, but either way, we got to figure this stuff out in life. This person's a grown-up. You had stuff bad. We all had bad stuff happen to us in childhood, most of us. If nothing else, if, if you didn't have a handsy uncle or something like that, then you had some kind of your parents were demanding or, or this or that, or even if, if, if you, you got kicked in the nuts by a girl in the schoolyard. Who knows? I don't know. Everybody had something bad happen in the childhood, even if it's skin in your knee. But the truth of the matter is, at the end of the day, we deal with those things when we're adults and we move forward, and this person is the cause of all their own problems. And unfortunately, because of that, other people suffer, namely you in this case. So I'm going to pull and extend it on this because uh, uh, I'm pissed. Uh, an Emmy Award winning extended. I'm going to find out. I'm going to pull on the devil because you know I always do. We're going to go all Dr. Phil on this shit. Uh, but I'm also going to pull on this uh, Eight of Wands here. I'm going to pull on this whole group. Okay, I'm not so worried about their manifesting. Uh, but I am also going to see what's going on with their fears. And, 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 and what's up with this? Because this keeps coming back, this Four of Cups. You know, I imagine this is tied to the devil in some way. For sure. And we're going to find out what actions specifically they're going to take towards you with this Knight of Swords. I know they're coming towards you, but I'm going to get you some specifics. And we're going to find out specifically what they're afraid of and get you some advice from the universe too, which is very useful. Because I think you're going to need it with this person. Okay? I do. But they're definitely coming with a very specific message for most of you. All right? They're, very, they're going to keep very secretive. Shh. I don't know what's going on with that can't wait to find out. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. It's there for you. The extended readings are very casual. It's like you're in my living room. We just keep throwing little readings and we'll see what we can find out. All right. Uh, there you go. I wouldn't even call it an extended. I'd just call it reading too. But everybody knows the term extended. So it's not really an extended. It's, it's a whole separate reading uh, where we just find out more. Mm. Anyway, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and everybody who shares. I send good karma your way for that. All right, so let's go. I'm going to pull it right now. I'm not even going to take a break. I'm just going to go straight in. If you want the extended, links in the description. Good luck, collective.